What's up you guys? It's Kenyatta Victoria here back for another video and today as you can see from the title um, I don't know which video is going to be up first but as you can see from the title I'm going to be talking about Greenleaf. Um, they did just have their series finale premiere and I'm so sad. I literally sobbed like a baby. If you guys haven't watched Greenleaf definitely watch Greenleaf. Check it out. Um, it's on Netflix. It's on the OWN network if you guys want to watch and yeah just enjoy and it's a really great show. Really well put together. I really it's a great show and the drama. Mwah. <laughs> so as you guys can see from the title we are going to be doing a character breakdown of Greenleaf because I know some people haven't seen the show and I just wanted to kind of break down the characters and you know maybe intrigue you guys and maybe you know get some new viewers or if you've already seen it maybe get you guys opinions on where you guys will rank these characters and what your opinions are on them so let's just get right into so, it. my first character that I want to talk about is Sophia um I feel like I feel like we should have given Sophia a little bit more of a storyline throughout the series. Um, I feel like we didn't really get to see Sophia like that. Like we saw her, she was going through like little stuff, but I feel like I kind of wanted more character development from her. Um, I did enjoy seeing her kind of battling with her relationship with herself, with her mother, with God, and understanding herself more as, a, as becoming a young woman and kind of getting to know herself and what she liked and what she didn't like and you know just figuring herself out as a person and as a human being and so but i do wish we could have gotten more of sophia but i really like her she was so she was super duper sweet and nice and um she'd been through a lot she had been through a lot of things dealing with her mother herself but i've really really appreciated her character just because she was so she was so sweet and quiet and just like but when she spoke up she spoke up loud and her head was held strong and stuff like that but i do wish we could have gotten more character developments from sophia the next one zora first of all zora gorgeous girl gorgeous gorgeous uh, she's so pretty zora she was she was super funny um really entertaining we all have that friend cousin that's like you know the complete opposite of us and likes to you know do stuff that gets that gets them in trouble or you know living on the edge stuff like that and her character development i liked her character development just because we got to see her make her mistakes and make decisions on her own i feel like her character definitely had to grow up a little bit faster just because of the things that she was dealing with whether it was with like stupid boyfriends or her parents and herself trying to figure her life out and figure out what she wanted i really really liked zora's character just because i just like i don't know i just like i like characters that have like sass and like are more outspoken and have more of like no filter because zora literally had no filter she literally said whatever she wanted <laughs> did whatever she wanted i really loved her character and lovey simone is a great actress <laughs> and so i really like zora's character even though she would do things that would she did so much stuff that would piss me off and had me screaming at the TV like, what are you doing, dummy? <laughs> and yeah, I love, but I did like Zora's character. She was super duper entertaining. I just wish she made better decisions sometimes. But yeah, like, I, but I feel like she grew a lot as a person also. Like, I feel like she's not the same person that she is from like season one. <sighs> My next character is Carissa. Um, <laughs> Carissa got on my last nerve. Carissa got on my last nerve just because she was so mean. Like, Carissa was mean to everybody. She was mean to Jacob. She was mean to Grace. She was just mean to everybody. She was mean to her her husband's parents. Like, why are you so rude? She just, I just feel like Carissa had so much, like, she has so much going on. She had a lot of growing up to do. I feel like Carissa was just really, she had, her intentions were not good with a lot of things. I feel like she was very sneaky. She did a lot of things behind people's backs, uh, behind her husband's back, behind her kids' back. Like she just was super annoying. It would just be times where I wanted to feel bad for her, but it's like, 
you do all this stuff and you think that you're gonna like get off easy you think that nobody's gonna come back nothing's gonna come back to you you think nothing's going to come back to you no um carissa was super duper annoying but i guess you know she played she she did what she had to do she did what she had to do um i feel like towards the end i i had a little bit of sympathy for her just like just like this much just like this much sympathy because she just did so much stuff that really like annoyed me and i just i was just looking at her like are you serious right now like this is how you act this is how you talk to people mm, no so yeah carissa was so it was so annoying she was so annoying but i mean she did her she played her part she played her part as like one of the antagonists and yeah all right um, now let's talk about charity so <laughs> charity i think I feel like Charity was still in like a little girl mentality. I feel like she was still in that little girl mentality and obviously she was the youngest, she was the baby. And I feel like she, a lot of times, like she handled things so childish like, like she was always the, she was always the one who was like, well, what about me? I want to do this, like having tantrums and stuff. And I'm like, girl, you're grown. <laughs> I'm like, you're a grown woman, like, come on now. And I just feel like, I feel like Charity finally, I feel like this last season, Charity finally was able to like be on her own and kind of fully embody a woman because I feel like every other season she just felt, it just felt like she was being a little girl and like doing things behind her family's back because she isn't getting what she wants at this time and, or getting what she wants out of life and decides to stomp her feet and throw a temper tantrum and do things that she shouldn't be doing and saying things she shouldn't be wanting to say or stuff like that. I just feel like she didn't really, her character development didn't really come to like maybe like the last two seasons, really the last season, this last season, <laughs> just because she just was so childish and acting like a kid. And I just wanted her to grow up. It was so many times I was looking at the TV like, grow up, girl. Like, you're a mom. You have a you have a child. You are grown. <laughs> like, grow up. Like, stop being worried about this outside noise and focus on what you need to be focused on. And don't try to turn your back on family within the process. So, that's my thoughts on Charity. I did enjoy her character development at the end, though. I feel like this season she really grew up and she really like got back on my good side <laughs> because these other seasons I was looking at her like no <laughs> and so yeah I was just like I, Charity I had a love-hate relationship with Charity just because I wanted to like her so bad but she just did things that got on my nerves like every episode was like why are you what what, what was this for <laughs> and so but i do like charity i love seeing how she grew up as a woman and yeah i feel like she grew up in front of our eyes and i got to see like the real her and like what made me what makes me like her the next character is the next character is jacob when i tell you jacob just gave me like a headache <laughs> Jacob really gave me a headache just because one, he couldn't keep it in his pants at all. And that aggravated me. <laughs> that aggravated me just because he just did so much dirt to Carissa, which made me have sympathy for her, even though I hated her character, and even though she was the most annoying human on the planet. Um, <laughs> I feel like Jacob had a lot of growing up to do as well. He was so, I feel like he was more lost than anything. I don't really think he knew what he wanted out of his family and out of the church and out of life in general. I feel like he was still soul searching and figuring himself out as a parent and figuring out him, figuring himself out as an adult too. Because when you are under your parents' wing for so long, I feel like you can get lost in who you are and who your parents want you to be. Jacob's character was just a lot. Um, I said that about, I'm saying that about all the characters, right? There were a lot, but <laughs> Jacob's character just had, he was so complex and I feel like he had a lot of growing up to do. I feel like he spent too much time still acting like a, a little boy or still thinking that he needed his parents' permission when it's like, sir, you are grown. <laughs> it was like, sir, you're grown. And so 
Um, I did appreciate how he was still there for his family. Even when things were, I feel like, yeah, even when things were like rough and tough and even nobody, no matter how many arguments they got into, because they got into a lot of arguments, but I just feel like he was still there for his family. He was still comforting. Whether it was his sisters, his wife, his daughter, his mother, his father, I feel like he was there to comfort them. And I feel like he was there to protect in a way. Even though he did, he also did things that were like, sir. He also did things that pissed me off and, you know, I didn't appreciate. But what I can say about Jacob and his character is that he was always there to help people. I feel like he was always there to comfort and be there in the time of need and even though i felt like he should have gotten out of his parents shadow i loved how he was so loyal to his family and loyal to the people that he cared about let's talk about may um first of all lynn whitfield an amazing actress an amazing actress um let's talk about may may was <laughs> She was like, she's like that bougie Southern mother that like everybody likes, but she still gets on your nerves, even though, but I loved May's character just because she, she made sure that her family and that her house were in some type of order. It may have been, it, it, it was a dysfunctional order, but I feel like she always made it a priority to instill in her kids and in, to instill in her family that your family is the most important thing and it should always be the most important thing. And having a great foundation for the next generation and for your children's children to kind of, you know, see this as the blueprint and to know that, you know, if we can do it, so can you guys. And so I appreciated May being kind of like the rock of the family and being kind of the one that was super strong. And she was very blunt, very honest. She told it like it was. And her character was necessary because we all have that that family member, whether it's a mother, an aunt, a, a sister, all of that. It's just that one who like, is always gonna tell you the truth. It's always gonna be honest with you and tell it like it is. And, you know, just being there as, you know, a, a, a nurturer. She was very much a nurturer, no matter how rough she was, no matter how blunt she was, she was always there to kind of nurture her family. Even when they were arguing with each other, she was like, you know, I'm gonna be there for my kids and I'm going to tell them when they're right and I'm gonna tell them when they're wrong. So I loved May. May was, she was one of a kind, really one of a kind. <laughs> and yeah. And so let's get into the bishop. So. I love the bishop. <sighs> I love the bishop so much just because he just reminded me of like, you know, my granddaddy and just like, he was, he was just so, he was so stern, but still like gentle and loving and was, and wanted the best for his family. He just really, he wanted to help people and wanted the best for his family. No matter how many mistakes he made along the way, no matter how many, you know, secrets were uncovered or weren't uncovered um i feel like he always had the best interest for his family and he just wanted he wanted to help people and he wanted to show people that even the person with the most mistakes can can turn it around and be you know themselves and and find a way to just work out of love and work through love and i love his messages um he he really embodied like an all-around good human being no matter how many mistakes he made even if he did make mistakes we all make mistakes and i feel like he made sure that there was a foundation of love in whatever he had going on so i loved the bishop he was like definitely one of my favorite characters on the show and yeah let's talk about my sis grace greenleaf first of all grace is that girl period grace is that girl she was really like you know the truth is gonna come out no matter what. And I love that she owned all of her mistakes, all of her flaws. I loved how she owned who she was and figuring herself out, whether it was her love life, her family life, dealing with her daughter. You know why I love Grace so much? Because 
she never backed down from anything. No, if it was her mom, her dad, her sister, her brother, anybody who was trying her, she never backed down without a fight. She never not gave her all to any situation. And she was just like there for everybody. And she really um, showed people and showed women that, you know, don't ever let anybody try to silence your voice. If you have questions and you want answers, go get those answers because that's important to know as women, like you should be able to get those answers and get what you want out of life and move with good intentions and show people that, you know, you can, you can be strong and you can have good intentions and you can get things done. So I loved Grace. Overall, um, overall I love, I loved Greenleaf. I'm definitely going to watch it again at some point because it was just such a good show. I'm so sad that it's over. I'm, I really wish, I feel like we could have got like seven seasons out of this. <laughs> um, I'm so sad it's over, but this was a great show. The cast is amazing. Um, this was a well-picked, well-done show, well-done production, and the drama was just immaculate. This drama was like nothing else. I loved it, so I'm gonna miss this show. If you guys wanna stream, you guys should stream. You guys should support the show and get into it. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know which characters you guys like, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.